It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. So the morning of day two at TwitchCon. I thought that was actually daytime. I would show you uh, the view out my window with my upgraded room. So I'm in Long Beach, California, and I'm guessing that that right there is the Long Beach. And there's the convention, and that's the convention center right there. So that big circular thingy right there, that is the H1Z1 arena uh, that I saw last night that I walked around. People are frantically getting getting the last second touches put on things. The convention center is right there. I just gotta go downstairs, out the door, and and uh, that's it. I actually shaved last night, so I didn't have to do it today, so I could sleep in a bit. Didn't sleep in anyways, which was a little awkward. Yeah, TwitchCon. I, oh, I said day two. It's actually day one of TwitchCon, but day two of my trip. So, TwitchCon, here I come. You're probably just looking at my reflection right now, aren't you? Breakfast is over, so I am going to basically just start getting ready to go, um, and then I'm just going to work on editing video until um, until it's time to go. But when I come back, TwitchCon. Yes. TwitchCon. TwitchCon. So two things have happened recently. Um, the first is that uh, for some reason sitting in my room um, I started to get really stuffed up. So I've been uh, sneezing and I feel stuffed up and stuff. Which is not great but hopefully being outside and walking around a bit will help. And the second thing is that it's 10.30ish, maybe just after 10.30, and uh, the Twitch tw Twitter account just tweeted out that um, the seating for the keynote is open right now and that the overflow will be in that big arena I saw last night the H1Z1 arena so basically I was gonna wait a bit longer I was gonna wait a bit longer before I went to uh, the event but I'm gonna go now and see if I can actually get a seat in the keynote theater and uh, yeah and I'm gonna use that sweet streaming app and stream after so we'll see how it goes <laughs> And this is just the people waiting to get into the main theater, not the people waiting to get into the arena on the other side. So the keynote starts in like a minute. But we made it in, and there's still like a million people outside trying to get in, so let's well, I gotta find a door to get inside. <laughs> find a door. Okay, so the keynote is over. I still got the sniffles. I'm also hungry. I haven't had much to eat today. My breakfast wasn't super big. So yes, the plan is to figure out a plan and then to execute the plan. Well, unbelievably, I managed to find a quiet place in uh, in the theater. So I'm basically up in one of the far corners of uh, the Glitch Theater right now. Should be going to a panel on the floor right now, but I think I had an allergic reaction to something. I've been sniffly and feeling pretty awful. So I'm uh, just gonna sit for a bit, try and get my get my uh, get my body back. That's what's up. Take a quick break, and uh, then I will try to do something exciting. Feeling a bit better after my snack, and I was going to try and get into the main theater, but I think that's the lineup. <laughs> it goes, I think the doors are right behind the stairs over there, and then the lineup kind of goes like down to the street and around the corner, so I'm kind of tempted just to go back to the hotel. Well, the sniffles got me. Um, I don't know what happened or why. I think I'm. I don't think I'm sick. I think I'm just reacting to something. Feeling pretty crappy. I'm supposed to be at a panel right now. That was the original plan. The secondary plan was to go be on the show floor, <coughs> which is where I would be right now. Definitely putting a damper on. I feel like I'm just wasting so much time being lying down here and not schmoozing. Yeah, I'll sit here for a few minutes, and, uh, yeah. Well, I can't sit in the hotel forever, so I'm going to head back. I'm feeling a little bit better right now, but, uh, 
I need to make moves. I'm gonna try to hit the show floor. I'll figure out panels later. Right now, I'm gonna try to hit the show floor. And I'm having a really hard time finding reliable internet access too, so. I'm in. I'm in, and I found an entrance closer to the hotel, which is amazing. That is a life-changing discovery. And it turns out, I am, it looks like I'm right in the place where all of the panels and stuff are happening. I'm just gonna, this is awesome. I, I didn't have to walk halfway around the building to get in, so this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hit the show floor. Still not feeling great. Let's go see what we can see and how and where and who and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm in. This is a lot bigger than last year. I'm not sure who or what I'm gonna see, but we'll have to see what I actually have time to look through while I'm here. I'm just gonna walk this way, because why not? So I managed to find the folks and get my Twitch affiliate badge. How cool is that? They have little badges they give up for Twitch affiliates. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I've got it, which is kind of cool, because I have a field affiliate. What are the odds? I probably will start going to panels here pretty quick, but um, but yeah, just uh, doing stuff. I got my badge. So I'm here with Simple and Catchy and Psychotic Elf, and I'm going to write it next time. Right. They're my new best friends, because uh, Simple and Catchy is here with Espeon. Hi, Espeon. Hi. Oh, what, now, now you don't want to look at the camera? You're not petting. All, all about, oh, I see, okay, attention. there we go. Here you go. Like, she was all, all about the GoPro a second ago, and now she doesn't want to look at it. <laughs> anyway, links in the description, as always. <laughs> so I just checked out, the, one of the coupons I had in the swag bag was for the a chair manufacturer here. It definitely in the market for a new chair. My chair is not at all well. But yeah, I might end up buying uh, buying a chair. <laughs> I'm kind of getting a handle on where everything is now. So far, I've signed up for uh, <laughs> I've signed up for one uh, indie game uh, sort of networking thing, and I got a game code for a game I was demoing. They had like a draw thingy, and I got a game code for their game. So um, yeah, you know, so far so good, I guess. I'm gonna wander around a little bit and. Uh, I have like a half hour or something like that, so I'll wander around a bit more and then I'll go to my panel. So I'm in line for my first uh, panel. Too bad I can't get service right now. I can't, my data is so slow that everyone's using it. So we'll see how it goes. So the panel is done. I heard that uh, Jim from OBS is here. I talked with Jim last year, if you recall. Give us like some down and dirty dirt on oh, the dirt of OBS. The dirt? Yeah. You want the dirt. I want the dirt. So I am going to see if I can find him again. I saw one of the other OBS guys, so and he said Jim is here somewhere. So I'm going to see if I can find Jim. I really want to see him because he's awesome for making OBS and everything. Two things. One, I just saw Spider-Man. Two, I just stopped by uh, a booth of a company called something, Snap Finger Click. Um, they do games that are designed from the ground up to interact with Twitch and you can guarantee they have a couple games They have a game that's out now and they have a game that's coming uh, And I will be playing them on the stream. These games are gonna be amazing. So on the show floor I'm just walking around checking out some of the uh, developers and seeing what they have going on and uh, Yeah, there's some really really cool stuff happening. So I'm gonna come back with a bunch of new games to play. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, just like last year, I'm here with Jim from OBS, got his name right this time. Last year I asked you to give me dirt on OBS, and the dirt was you hadn't even optimized studio yet. I hadn't um, even optimized it yet. Man, even more dirt on OBS. Oh <laughs> How it's like a lot of the stuff that's been has been having OBS is awesome though. Like a lot of it, like the, the releases you've had lately have been really good and yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. It's been awesome. This last release was kind of small, but I'm hoping it's really awesome stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's very cool. Well, thank you again for making OBS. It is, yeah. it, I mean, it runs Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you do it, and you give it to people for free, and it's like... Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. And you, yeah. you're an amazing person, and thank you. Oh, uh, no, you are an amazing person. Thank you so much. Yeah, but nobody watches me, though. If you stream, people would watch you, so... <laughs> I don't know. I'm, too, I'm so afraid. It's about reason. That's some dirt. You're, you're, you're making OBS if you don't know a streamer. I know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I, I can't stream that. <laughs> so I just had a big, long, awesome conversation with uh, W. Shear. Links in the description. Um, super, super cool guy. Uh, uh, partner based in Vancouver. And uh, shout out to that guy. That guy was awesome for 
I just I met him yesterday at the airport when we were flying in and I just sat with him for like 15 20 minutes and just was like peppering him with questions and we were talking back and forth and so super cool guy and uh, yeah I love, love making connections it's really really cool so shout out to that guy for for being awesome anyway the show floor is gonna is gonna close here uh, in about uh, 40 minutes so I'm gonna do one quick little walk around and then uh, I need to eat because I haven't eaten since the snack I had for lunch so uh, yeah quick walk around I'm gonna check out some of the creative stuff and uh, then I'm going to food I'm going to mini foods Okay, so day one of TwitchCon is over. It's great. I just came out that door right there, and the hotel is right there. Isn't that amazing? I didn't have to walk halfway around the world this time. Um, so that's very cool, and that makes me happy. And being happy is good. That's pretty much the end of day one. Um, we committed to one panel of the four I think I had on my list. Oh, I need to eat, so I'm going to have to eat some. But uh, yeah, back to the hotel, which is right in front of me. And um, yeah, we'll call it an early night, so I don't... Don't, don't, my body doesn't break down too quickly. Thus endeth the um, the first day of TwitchCon. I met a lot of very cool people. Managed to get rid of some of those stinking business business cards that I brought with me, and uh, try and get rid of some more tomorrow, I guess. So shout out to business cards. I just realized something. Uh, so I had the sniffles earlier, and my nose was bugging me. I had an allergic reaction to something, and it's been bugging me all day. I didn't realize that I spent all day like trying to plug my nose and pinch my nose and trying to stop for myself from sneezing. And I didn't realize that I bruised my nose. I actually have a dark spot. I don't know if you can see it. I actually have a dark spot on the tip of my nose now, or right on the tip of my nose. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Adventuring with Paul. It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul.